What's up all? Marshall here again today. Wanted to share with you a couple of pedal tricks with the venerable Ibanez Tube Screamer, the TS9, in this particular case. Just in case you didn't actually know any of these, wanted to share because it's fun. Information is fun. So what we have, like I said, just a couple pedal tricks just to go in case you didn't know them. Now, the Ibanez Tube Screamer has been around for a long, long, long time. The big thing about this particular pedal, what makes it great is that all it really is is just a boost. Now, the defining factor in this pedal happens to be that it has a nifty little clean bleed. If you notice, if you ever pick one up, and you play pretty hard, you'll hear your clean guitar coming through along with a kind of distorted fizzy signal, especially when you turn it up on the higher ends of the gain. Now, it doesn't sound bad, but there are ways to improve upon that. And one of the coolest things I've figured out, well, I found out by accident, is if you put a uh, like a compressor pedal, like I have here, a tiny little Moore yellow comp, it'll squash that initial attack so you don't necessarily hear that clean bleed. Let me share that with you here. Here it is without the compressor. <laughs> And if you listen carefully, you can kind of hear that particular thing I was talking to you about that, that phenomena of the clean bleed. Now, if we add in a compressor pedal, like I said, it completely squashes that initial attack, kind of tricking your ears into thinking that that's not there. So let me go ahead and put on the, the compressor. <laughs> Now, what this also ends up doing, if you have a nice, pretty beefy uh, neck pickup, is gives you that squish that I associate personally with with the sound of some of the solos Train Anastasio has with with Fish, for example. <laughs> Like I was saying, it kind of gives that nice little squish sound if you're working the working the preamp or power amp tubes a little bit too much, that, that really nice natural compression that you get with a tube amplifier. Now, also what you can do with, with this particular pedal, if you didn't know this already, but it's one of the greatest boost pedals if you're in a high gain situation. And this is this holds true with if you have an amplifier or even another distortion pedal sometimes you can you can put three or four tube screamers in a row at a moderate volume and you can come up with some great stuff now in this particular case I have a the signal is going direct into an HT5 from Blackstar at a very moderate gain setting and what I'm going to do is change the settings on the tube screamer Accordingly, and what it ends up doing is brings in the bottom end and gives it a nice mid mid range grind that you don't have with a normal with a normal gain. So let me go ahead and show you that. In general, the way to set this particular one up is, like I said, have your amplifier or other distortion pedal with a very moderate gain sound. In this particular case, uh, like I said, it's a Blackstar HT5. With It's pretty heavy on the bass, and everything else is pretty much right in the middle. So let me give you a, a little sound clip. Now, 
Now, it's not quite that beefy, but when you take the tube screamer and you jack the level, as you can see, all the way up to its highest setting and the gain all the way down to its lowest, sometimes you can take the tone and tweak to taste, but you end up getting a, a nice beefy tone. So let me give you an example of that. Without. And with. And that is all I have for you right today. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them below. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to like the video if you did. Please subscribe. Thank you so much again for watching. Have a wonderful day and enjoy.